Anybody that needs a reminder how poorly the government runs things needs to look no further than your local post office. Not only is this building gigantic and have tons of wasted square footage that could otherwise be merchandised or occupied by other things that would generate revenue, the place is disgusting and disrepair. There's a line of 35 people in the middle of the day. And the reason for this is because there's no competition because it's financed by the government. You can say, oh, it's unfunded, it's unfunded. Oh, it doesn't make enough money. It doesn't make enough money because people don't think of it the same way that a business owner, a private business owner would think about their business. The most obvious things that you need when you go to the post office are boxes, tape, pens, and a variety of other things that are involved with shipping like peanuts, yet the, sh the shelves are empty, the floor space is empty, it's poorly merchandised. It's literally four o'clock in the afternoon and there's one teller for freaking 40 people. I mean, that's the type of stuff that makes things like the post office just poorly run. It would be so much better run by a private entity that would have to compete for your business. It would be faster, cleaner, better merchandised, would offer better products and services, and would just generally be better. Instead, or ta instead, taxpayer dollars are squandered needlessly for this archaic institution to run gigantic buildings and do a poor job. But nope, don't you dare say that. Ugh, AOC is gonna jump down your throat. Whatever, man. Go to the DMV, go to the post office, take a look at it. Private businesses don't run that way. Show me one private business that's open for a long term that does acts like that. If it was a free market, the building would be clean, it would be repaired, the walls would be covered in different merchandise. They would constantly be asking about how they could have a better how you could have a better experience. There would be more locations and they would be smaller. It would be a better and more and more properly run operation. I'm not suggesting that we take away the post office, but what I'm saying is throwing good money at bad and just throwing more money when they should probably lease a smaller building and have it cleaned up. And it's just like, that's the type of thing that government bloat does. But nope, Joey Virtue Signal and the Woke Squad just wants you to give more money and more power so they can waste more of your taxpayer dollars to socialize every possible business and service imaginable. All you're gonna get is a whole bunch of more shit. Every other business right around it, new facade, clean parking lot, clean windows, new products and services, always hustling and grinding for your business. Yet that post office has sat in disrepair for years. Place sucks. Oh, give them more power. There are multiple UPS stores within several miles of this exact U of this exact USPS location. The footprint is like 500 square feet. That place had to be 2,000 square feet of blow and waste. But nope, nobody cares, nobody understands, nobody cares about free market capitalism. Nobody understands basic economics, how basic business works. Don't you understand that it would be so much better? But nope, listen to AOC pontificate from her fucking podium about shit she has no clue about. Everyone's so scared to take shit away, but they don't understand that what's that what would replace it would be fucking better. It's yo, everybody is fucking clueless. It doesn't even matter. Shit doesn't matter. Understanding and depth of understanding has no place. Just yell and be mad.